Last year, the U.S. held a summit in the name of promoting democracy, yet the so-called Summit for Democracy excluded nearly half of all countries on the planet, blatantly drew an ideological line between countries and created division in the world. The act violated the spirit of democracy. To hold another such summit would receive even less support around the world. China practices whole process people's democracy. It is broad-based, genuine, and effective democracy, which enjoys the wholehearted endorsement and support of the Chinese people. This January, the world's largest public relations consultancy firm, Edelman, released a survey in 2021, trust among Chinese citizens in their government was a record 91 percent, again topping the world and reaching the highest level in a decade. Polls conducted by Harvard University for many years also produced similar results. These are polls conducted by third parties. And as we can see, the world recognizes China's democracy, and we have full confidence in our path. Human civilization, if compared to a garden, should be a diverse place where democracy in different countries blooms like a hundred flowers. Setting a standard for democracy after the U.S. system is undemocratic. Meddling in other countries' internal affairs in the name of democracy would only hurt the people in those countries. Putting one's own system on the pedestal is not just against the spirit of democracy, but also spells disaster for democracy. We look forward to exchanges and mutual learning with other countries on the basis of equality. Let us promote the true spirit of democracy, strip pseudo-democracy of its various types of charade, and make international relations more democratic so as to inject forward momentum to human progress.